face the final frontier. Top Jam performance is like being on Starship Enterprise. You have that big video screen there where the planets and the phaser cannons start whooshing at you. And then you have the control screens here, which actually control the action there. People come together and make music, or in our case, make music and picture playing together. That's the idea. That is something which has never done before, as far as I know. Everybody makes music with a computer. That is nothing new. The new thing is coming together and doing it together. As in the old ways, we have jazz jams, we have guitar jams, we have all types of jams, and we have Laptop jams using the computer to jam together. The difference between a laptop jam and a normal jam is you get people who bring a silver box, uh, and that box is filled with an infinite palette of sounds. They could be playing anything from Mozart to Van Halen to, which I just sampled, uh, nursery rhymes. So they show up with a gray box, they put it on the table, you have no clue what, what they're into, what style. You've got a guy that's been doing heavy metal samples for the last year and a half, next to a guy that spent the last two years writing a piece of software that makes nothing but ding, a dong, a ding, a dong. And then the the problem arises when you put these two people together. How the hell is that going to work? It's sort of formed a bit kind of a core team of laptop jammers who sort of attended regularly. That was John. Who comes, who comes down on every single one, that is Simon, the visual guy. Then we have uh, Pendle, who just came on to the, um, the third one, I think, and still has been since then on each one of them. And uh, a bit later, from the big chill onwards, it was Craig and Haley, both audio-visual. And um, we have, I think we have the same ideas of how things should evolve. My name is Hayley and I'm from New Zealand. Um, I am living in Brighton, I have been for a little while. Um, I perform as a VJ under the name Superfly Sister along with uh, Random Effects um, and together we're Metaluna. We came to Brighton about a year ago and basically the vibe is really great and we just really liked it and we enjoyed the, um, the company and the people we'd met. I came across the Laptop Jams um, when I saw a, a poster of theirs, it was just in the street in Brighton not long after we moved here and I, I got quite excited about it and ran home and was like, um, Craig there's this cool Laptop Jams thing happening and um, we've got to go down, we've got to take our laptops and go and check it out. The reason I chose Henry Arms it looked to me like an old Indian wedding hall. I didn't know it was actually I didn't pop, I didn't know anything about it. And I thought, wow. It's quite ethereal, it's quite Star Trek-y, it's, it's, there's a, there's a great juxtaposition with the screens and this weird Indian ballroom. From the outside, it's an amazing building. And I just walked by and I thought, now that, that's the place to do it. Mm-hmm.
the actual laptop jam at the Hanbury Barroom when you, when you walk in, it's quite a massive room. The focal point is the video screen and everyone's little laptop screens. My main function on the laptop jam night is overviewing the webcast. You have audio, you have sound and you have visual that gets filmed and then streamed over the internet. Basically everybody can see, can watch, can listen, which makes it very universal. Sort of brings it, brings it to a different level. The Hanbury Arms works very well for a laptop space because everything's on the same level. It's generated a space where people feel that, you know, it's their space, they can come in and do things with us. It's quite different to uh, a traditional improvised space where you sit and watch. Uh, it's a very open environment, so anyone can, can step up to the plate, as it were, and, and put work up. My father had taken a whole lot of Super 8 film in the 70s, and he still had lots of it lying around. Um, I realised that you know, the film has a quality that is really hard to get. Generally, the weeknights are spent um, sitting at home watching um, Super 8 film and uh, into the late sort of wee hours of the morning. Uh, especially before a gig where you're trying to find new footage, you know. Yeah. <laughs> this is the camera that I bought to, uh, to go out filming. It's got quite a few nice extra features on it, uh, like I can leave it and run in, running on time lapse and uh, standard sort of filters in it that I tend to avoid because I like using uh, pure footage rather than uh, adulterated footage. Yeah, I think I'm quite a new member in the Laptop Jams and I've only done about two or three performances. So, but yeah, definitely the people are really nice and I've kind of gotten to know some of them. Everyone here may make his own list according to his knowledge. I use my camera a lot doing, um, filming my things and so on. And I use sometimes effects while I'm filming, but since I have an editing software now, I sometimes just do the effects afterwards. But sometimes you just need the effect while you're filming so you know what you're doing. I use a lot of uh, very, very simple graphics and I've found that um, you can give a lot of form and content by having the very busy movement captured in, say, uh, just a pure white stripe that's moving up and down the screen. And it mixes well with the busy movement that I've taken on the camera. I did actually film my nipple. Uh, I was modeling actually, and we had to wear these nipple plasters so they wouldn't see through the clothes. And, um, and I found it very interesting when I was taking them off how it all formed them. <laughs> it goes like back and forth in, in uh, rhythm with the music, so it's quite interesting. And then when it like also goes off, it kind of bounces a bit. It's quite funny. The 16mm film that we use um, has come from a few sources in London usually, um, either markets or um, people selling 16mm film. And it was really a lottery because you couldn't look at it before you um, purchased it, so you just buy something that looked or sounded actually interesting by the label. We hadn't actually ever seen the f footage we were using because we'd only just got it from the market that day. And, um, so we were, we were just really surprised by what we were seeing, let alone what anyone else was seeing. You know? and, uh, 
and at one stage it got kind of risque and we were um, just, it was hilarious because we didn't know where it was going to go. Uh, well, I'm planning to use uh, some material off the West Pier in the next laptop jams in the ICA. I think it's kind of a big landmark here in Brighton and uh, and it's very special to me that it has kind of fallen apart while I was here. But I really think it's beautiful like this. I don't know, some people don't think so, but I think it's absolutely amazing and very spooky. We're always basically capturing new footage to use. Um, so it's just a continual process of capturing new, new footage, interesting things. Once you've um, got it on DV, you can import it into your editing software on, your, on the computer. And then um, cut it up into the loops that you want, uh, put on any effects that you think you know, will be suitable. Um, so it's a combination of, of both doing things live in the way of adding effects and also thinking about what will work beforehand and making loops that you specifically have worked on. Taking laptop jams to the ICA was really exciting for all of us, I think, because uh, although it was really good doing it in Brighton, the amount of exposure we were getting is, is much more limited. And so ICA um, gave us the potential to have a lot more exposure and I think get people along who um, were maybe more interested in the experimental nature of what we were doing. Um, it had its moments. It was a funny one. A little bit difficult to hear what you're doing and with other people and that, but you know, that's jamming. We have had magic moments where it just felt that this is right. The music and the picture there, that is all felt, suddenly it all felt into place. And that's brilliant, that's great. That's a good performance. That's a good laptop jam performance when it happens. <laughs>